You know that sound. Welcome back. It's our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film Yap. He's here with his movie reviews for your weekend. Chris, welcome back. Good to have you on as always. Fantastic. Things are heating up at the box office and outside. We're right in the swing of summer movie season. I'm excited. Hopefully everyone else out, out there is too. Yeah, there is something really cool about that summer movie season. It's like every week, just bam, yeah. big movie, big movie. Yeah. All right, so let's dive right in. Uh, the first big one we're talking about, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. What's that all about? So this is, of course, the sequel to the 2018 kind of surprise hit animated film, Spider-Man. This is sort of, you know, a big rejigger of the Spider-Man universe. Here he's a 15-year-old Brooklyn teen named Miles Morales, um, uh, voiced by Shamik Moore. Uh, and this is sort of set about a year later. He's got some new enemies, The Spot. There's still a lot of humor color vivaciousness going on here but also he again as you see gets to go into the spider-verse goes across all these different multiple dimensions Neat. encounters iterations of himself there's female versions you know there's mechanical versions of spider-man huh. there's a tyrannosaurus rex version of spider-man that was probably <laughs> my favorite um and it's just it's very fast paced it's colorful the animation is so imaginative and so amazing it's really geared more towards the younger brains, I will admit. Okay. Someone, someone my age, I kind of had trouble keeping up visually because it's just going so fast and there's so much detail and so much coolness going on. Uh, this is getting great reviews. My boys liked it a lot. We saw it last night. I don't think anyone who's into superhero movies or the previous Spider-Man, Spider-Verse movie is going to be disappointed. Okay, did the T-Rex Spider-Man try to like shoot his webs with his tiny little arms? No, but uh, there was some, there's like a cowboy Spider-Man and uh, yeah, you, you'll just have to see all the different, you could spend a second viewing of this just going through and like making a list of all the cool spider people. Cool, that sounds fun and the animation was incredible. Uh, it looks awesome. Astounding. Yeah, let's talk about Sanctuary. So this is a obviously a much smaller film. This is what I, I guess you would call like a psychological thriller. Okay. Christopher Abbott and Margaret Qualley. You may have recognized them from smaller movies. She was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Just a two person movie. Yeah. They're in a, a, a hotel room the whole time. Um, and what's going on here, and I'll use family friendly language, is they have an arrangement for their relationship okay. uh, that involves you know, some uh, harder edge play. Okay. And they, they play these roles, they've been doing it for a while, and now things are changing because he is about to inherit his family's hotel company oh. uh, and become famous and well known. Obviously, he feels like he needs to end this relationship that they have. She doesn't want to, uh, and it ends up becoming this real game of one upsmanship. Huh. Uh, very tense, anxious sort of film. At some point, like she's sort of on top of the relationship and he's on the bottom, the power struggles going back and forth. Really interesting flick. Okay, Sanctuary. Uh, talk to me about The Boogeyman. This is a horror film you can probably figure out yeah. from the title based on a Stephen King short story from the 1970s, I think it was. Okay. Uh, and the setup is that two teens, one, uh, two, two kids, sisters, one a teen, one younger, they've just lost their mother. They're now in like psychotherapy and going through different things to sort of overcome that. Their father's kind of disconnected um, and uh, strange forces start invading them to sort of feed upon their family's pain Ooh. and things kind of go from there. Uh, they didn't screen this one for us, but we will have a review up probably within the next day or so. So check that one out. Okay, what's your favorite Stephen King movie of all time? Oh, probably uh, Stand By Me, which is oh. probably like the least Stephen Kingish movie because it's not horror. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's talk about something that uh, people might have missed, 65. Yeah, so this was uh, starring uh, our own Adam Driver here from Indiana, who did a great job of starting the race the other day. Uh, unfortunately, this film really didn't kind of get a go at the box office. It kind of got lost in the shuffle early this year. It's a science fiction adventure. He plays an astronaut who's transporting people across the universe. They hit an asteroid field, land on a strange planet where he encounters aliens, finds one little girl as a survivor and is sort of determined to at least protect one life of all those have been lost. Wow. Uh, tense looking movie. Uh, so that's out on a Blu-ray, DVD, all your other, of course, your uh, uh, online video on demand services this week. Check that one out. I think it's worth a look. Sometimes, you know, movies just get lost in the shuffle. And I yeah. I think this was one of them. Okay, 65 with Adam Driver. Let's talk about some promos you have, some uh, prizes. Yeah, we've got a lot. We've actually had some others. I'm just limiting you a few. Uh, we've got Dungeons and Dragons on okay. everything's big hit, hit. Big fan of this one. So we are giving away multiple copies of this on 4K and one lucky prize winner will actually get uh, collectible figures. There's actually four of them. I only brought one. All right. So that's pretty cool stuff. I liked, I liked that movie a lot. My kids did too. Cool. Uh, and another one is we're giving away the Transformers 6 movie Steelbook. This is all wow. Transformers movies to date on Blu-ray and 4K. 
This is for, retails for $150. We're giving away multiple copies of it. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Uh, I actually added up all the promos we did in the past week. We've given away, we're giving away almost a, over $1,000 worth of stuff. That's great, man. And why aren't you subscribing to Film App? I yeah. don't know, because you could yeah. be in the win, yeah. in the running to win this You stuff. can just literally put that address in your phone right now, filmyap.substack.com, and hit the subscribe button while you're there so you can enter to win all these great promos and get Chris's reviews and his teams as well. Chris, thanks as always, man. Always a Enjoy pleasure. the weekend. Hey, coming up next, we're going to get some expert tips on keeping our core strong for summer from the fitness pros at Lifetime Fitness. We're going to be back in just a couple minutes, friends. Stick around.